Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drusa Lachey, if you don't know already. And in today's video, I am going to be shopping for gowns yet again. If you haven't seen my last video, I went online shopping for a gown and it's definitely not a cakewalk when you're tall and you're trying to find a long gown. And I happen to find one online, but I'm just not, you know, 100% comfortable with it. So go ahead and check that out before you come and watch this one. But I'm at Macy's today and funny enough, I went to this same Macy's less than a week ago and I didn't really find anything, but for whatever reason, I have high hopes today. <laughs> so I'm back and I'm gonna like comb through everything with the hopes that I'll find something. And then if I don't find anything at this Macy's, hopefully another store will have something for me. Just for context, I'm six feet tall. I have a 34 inch inseam and we're just gonna see what happens today. So I'll go ahead and take you guys along. Alrighty, so I am at Macy's and I was not trying to like overspend when it came to gowns so they definitely had a lot of affordable gowns but after seeing the price tag on this particular one I was like <laughs> nope it's definitely a no for me this is getting put back so I just started searching around started getting a little desperate okay <laughs> I started getting very experimental picking up things that I normally wouldn't pick up just because they happen to be long so you know I had to do what I had to do all right, y'all, I'm in the dressing room. I have like three options that I'm gonna try out. So we'll see how it goes. I don't even need to zip this up to already know it's a no. Look at the length. Definitely when I put on heels, it's gonna be hovering. Okay, so I was being very experimental with this one. This is clearly not my style. It's very princessy. It's one of the few things that were actually long enough for me, but it's a no for me. This is the last dress. The length isn't bad. This is just really giving me like candy cane realness. And I feel like I can't unsee it. Like <laughs> it's really making me feel like a candy cane. I'm not like 100% sold on this one. It is comfortable. And I feel like if I wear heels, it's not gonna be too bad, although it's hovering. But <sighs> it's the style. It's, it's not me. Here's Windsor. Might just go ahead and check there out. See. All right, y'all. So when I step into Windsor, surprisingly, the first dress I picked up was super long and I immediately got excited. I just started picking up a whole bunch of things and it was definitely like just so unexpected. They certainly had a lot of sparkly things and I started to realize that there was a big downside to that because the sparkles were everywhere, they were falling everywhere, and they were getting stuck to my jacket. It was just like a hot mess. And so I was just like, oh my goodness. So just a heads up if you guys ever shop at Windsor for dresses, just stay away from the sparkly ones. Not to be mistaken with the sequin ones, but specifically the sparkly ones. You just don't even want to bother with those because you will regret it. <laughs> um, but you know, I was able to find a good amount of dresses to try on. So this first dress, you know, I really loved it, but I thought the slit was too high. Um, eventually, I decided to ask my dad about it, and he thought that it was fine. So if he thought it was fine, I was like, all right, fine. It can't be that bad. <laughs> and then this next one, I thought it was cute. The slit probably came up as much as the last dress. But the downside to this particular dress was that the back was just way too open, which I had concerns with what kind of bra I was going to wear. And so I would say that was the downside with their dresses was either there was a really high slit or the whole back was out or there was like a really deep um, cleavage cut. So I just felt like I wasn't trying to do all that. So it made it a little bit more difficult to pick. Um... But yeah, this dress, it was a little bit basic and I was just like, mm, okay, it's, it's okay. But you know, like I said, it's basic. So I was able to do without it. And the length wasn't that great on this one. As you can see, I'm tippy toeing, which means that if I wear it with heels, it's going to be hovering awkwardly. And then this dress, I just had like the worst undergarments on <laughs> for this shopping trip. So excuse me for that. But yeah, this dress was one of the first sparkly ones that I picked up and 
it was ill-fitting anyway, so no. And then this one was such a pretty color and I loved it. I just felt like the cleavage was just doing the most, okay? Like it was, mm -mm, it was making me uncomfortable. And then this next dress, I loved it so much, but they didn't have it in my size. It was way too big. And the length, y'all see that? Like the fabric is so long and I loved it. But unfortunately, like I said, they did not have my size in store. So that was a bummer. And I just had to kind of put it down at that point and just count my losses. Then I came across this bad boy and I was like, mm, okay, it's giving like, old Hollywood glam. I thought that the color was really pretty. The style was nice and it was really fitting. And then this basic black one, it was cool. But after a while, I was just like, mm, I think this is kind of basic, you know, it's nice, but I can do without it. All right, y'all. So it's the day before the gala. And I just wanted to update y'all. I was able to walk out of Windsor with two gowns i was so shook y'all like i was not expecting to go into winter and get two gowns now funny thing is i have bought like two gowns from winter in the past but for whatever reason anytime i go into that store i don't have like the highest hopes but it ain't macy's up the first gown that i walked out with is this one it's a nice pretty like lilac -y color so in the case that i go to an event in like the summer i will wear something like this this is another one of the dresses that have a high slit. I mean, they pretty much all had high slits. It's almost like I just couldn't avoid it at that point. I always love that like square neckline. I think it's always like classy and it always suits my shape because you know, I'm more busty. So it actually looks really good on me. Then for the actual gala tomorrow, I am gonna be wearing this. It's like a brownish reddish dress it's asymmetrical one shoulder one of my favorite things ever and the back has this detail with these three straps it has a high slit and i think that this is actually so perfect because it definitely makes more of a statement i think because it's the color um and especially for this time of the year it's not like super warm outside so i feel like the color is actually really fitting it looks really nice in dim lighting as well and that's what I was definitely trying to go for. So I'm going to put this on for you guys to see as well. Here is the gown. I'm thinking about wearing it with these silver heels. This is definitely way more comfortable than that ASOS gown that I got. It actually has a little bit of stretch. So I don't feel like I'm like at the brink of something ripping. I love the style. I love the color. I think it's so classy, so elegant. Slight change of plans. My husband thinks that the gold shoes actually look better. So I'm not even mad at that because this gold heel is shorter. So I'll be more comfortable. It's a block heel. This is from Primark, Primark by the way. I just wanted to see how it looked with some earrings. So I put these on. I won't have my glasses on. I can't even see right now. So I need to put my glasses <laughs> back on. Okay. But just so y'all get a feel of what it's going to be looking like. So definitely going to have something on my hand, my wrist, and a little purse, a little gold purse. Okay. The look is coming together. I'm starting to see now for the other dress. All right, y'all. So I couldn't get this fully zipped up on my own. I don't even know how I managed to do it in the store. <laughs> it doesn't have that much left. It's just a little bit more. I'm going to just go ahead and get hubby's help on that one. This is the second dress. I feel like it's giving nice springy vibes, nice summer vibes. I love this neckline. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. It's so classy. This is definitely my cup of tea with heels on here's how it's looking this is like i would say my cutoff for length like my i shouldn't say cutoff but like my minimum like if the dress was any shorter i would not have bought it i mean this heel is probably like a three and a half inch heel so if i can get something that's like a little bit shorter you know this dress would come down at a better length this cost 
I think $109. The other gown costs like $119. So I think those are really great prices, especially for gowns. You have to expect to be paying like that and much more for gowns. So I felt like that was a really great price. Let me know what you guys think about these dresses and if you have ever shopped at Windsor before. Let's go ahead and make this conversation down below in the comments box. And while you're at it, just don't play hard to get. Just go ahead and join the family. Please go ahead and press that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And go ahead and turn on that bell notification button so that anytime I post, you'll be up to date. I appreciate y'all all. God bless you. And I will see you guys in my next video next Sunday. Deuces.